I think they're- aren't they also playable in X8? If, uh, I think you beat it a certain amount of times, yeah, I think you yeah. can. If you want to do anyone that's your case, and watch this, and uh, watch me play, God, God, you've been awful. Yes, I've been awful. It's also, this is easy mode. I mean, did you guys not see our stream of the Mega Man X and X4? <laughs> uh. I mean, how often, how much were we stuck on Magma Dragoon before we went, screw it, rookie hunter mode? Magma Dragoon is... Maha... God, really? <laughs> That's flame really? with a paint job. <laughs> somebody, I feel like somebody should be offended by this. Not name for starters. No folks of reviews. These guys' names. Also, he's E Honda, apparently. Yep. E Honda, the streetest of fighters. Best. The chopping them in half animation is a nice touch. Yeah, I'll say that the animation on this is pretty good. Hang on, we're not in Metroid. Why is this place self destruction? <laughs> I guess he was just too chalk. The building couldn't handle without it. This is definitely a level you don't want to go into about your saber being upgraded. Yeah. Yeah. More blue screen of death! Suddenly, Raven disappears and get... And the man starts here on Discord. You had to say something! <laughs> I feel like they reused this layout uh, right they, here. They, well, Seal said that this is the place where you first met me. You need to go there to beat up the thing to get the MacGuffin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I get that they were trying to go for a Metroidvania vibe. <sighs> They said they wanted to go full Metroidvania. I feel like a lot of GBA Metroidvanias, because the, the GBA, sadly, is not a PlayStation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they couldn't go as good as they wanted to. So, like, I know Metro Metroid Fusion isn't bad, but it's really dialogue-heavy and just misses the boat in a lot of places. The GBA Castlevanias are, um, let's say they're divisive and leave it at that. Mm -hmm. And, like, th this already, it just feels like, eh. Ooh, we, we have, uh... The Composition Rod. It's, it's the Phalong Flags from the uh, Dragon Gundam. <laughs> I was thinking we, fought, we went full Dragoon. Ooh. Also, wait—is that one of the mole men from Sam and Max? Sorry. <laughs> in normal mode, there is a cyber cyber angel in here, cyber elf in here. I Why is it called back. an elf? As nice as the other weapons are. You don't tend to use them a lot. I know... I know when this game came out, like, there were certain weapons that everybody loved and everybody hated. Damn if I remember what they are. <laughs> uh... Stephen Colbert, what are you doing here? I apparently survived to the future. How the hell did I do that? What a determination. I suddenly want a Hot Pocket, and I haven't had a Hot Pocket in, like, 15 years. Hot Pocket! I hate the factory level, so I'm getting it done now, because... One, is over and done with, and two... 
Here we go. Spotty is my center. Patrick goes to shut down. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, good. Stealth sections. Because do, those do, 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 never do. suck. Do, 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 do. Get me a cardboard box. Would they even have cardboard in the future? Yes, from the... I know it. From their uh, robot trees. Yes. Oh, true. The robot logging operation. Yes. Yes. I'm sure that survived into the future. Yeah. Going down. I'm going down. Down, down, down. As I see Web down. Spider reproduced. Yep. I'm so bad at the. Like, I used to be good at the Web Spider fight. And I'm not anymore. Oh, look, there is the robot logging operation. <laughs> God damn it, game. <laughs> we have the other part of this game. Distance. Oh, that's what you can see on screen. Uh... Oh, good. Yes. So that's the thing. Yes. This is where we need the flight option. Yep. Damn it, why didn't we have Rush? Can we steal X's Falcon armor? Surely the, the, the robot dog is around here somewhere. No, no, fuck it. Ah. Game design! Y yes, and you had to come back here for another mission to save this place, and it's been littered with bombs. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, that's your point there. Not worth going for. Yeah, I'd say not. Oh, no, no, no. I blame Bubsy. I blame Bubsy. I blame Bubsy. So, yeah. No, no, no. Poke. So, so um, there's a term, Facebook motherfucker. There's a term that gets thrown around, um, fake difficulty, where where it's things that wouldn't normally be hard, or like think like a game that wouldn't normally be hard, but there's things that are blatantly unfair hmm. between the draw distance and shit like that. Yeah, I think that counts as fake difficulty. Artificial dis difficulty. Yep. Artificial unintelligence. Yes. No, 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 no. Fucking. Uh. Yeah, oh. Web Spider, why couldn't you have kept it in your pants? Well, like I said beforehand in the server, this guy's up. This is the game where you will hear me swear. Yeah, yeah, you did. Next up, we're playing Rockman 4 minus Infinity. This is the part where Raven dies. Ominous doorway, and we get a pinwheel. A pinwheel dragon. Oh. oh. I was gonna say, is that Soul Rock? It's the Hydra Gundam. It's the twin dragons from Bloodstained. Oh, yeah! Hang on. Uh... Nah, don't matter. Nothing the thing this has a weakness. Its weakness is getting slashed at. And I'm do. What are we doing? Blinding slashing works for some bosses, not for this one. I mean, you're still damaging it. Yeah. If I don't remember, remember correctly at the beginning, I'm not good at this. Its oh. weakness is point blank annihilation. Okay, I'm having to change. There we go. Oh, 
No, 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 that's not what I want to Actually, for some reason, this is also reminding me of the hand monster in Frost Wallace's stage. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Didn't you, like, two-shot that thing? A little bit, yeah. That was not awesome. as much, Not as much as the mushroom dude in Split Mushrooms area. <laughs> that was also awesome. Yes. <laughs> I was frozen today. I was frozen today. Oh. I actually saw that movie before the Nostalgia Critic uh, took a dump on it. Because <laughs> it was on Comedy Central one time, and I was like, this movie's amazing. <laughs> it is a fun little movie that I have not s I've seen once. That was about it. Yeah, it was on Comedy Central one time when during like my summer vacation and uh Courage and I watched it together. And we we're like, this is so dumb and we love it. <laughs> oh my god, look, he's playing Afterburner. We used to play that as kids. Hulkamania Brothers. <laughs> and it's funny because I believe one of the characters in that movie was Steve Valentine, who is the voice of Alistair in Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> huh. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to get something first. I could do a new weapon for you. It's called. Oh, I haven't named it yet. I shall call it the Sealed Boomerang. Sokka would be proud. Boomer. Kawanger. Kawanger. That booms. Indeed. Also, that guy totally stole Jordy's visor. Maybe it is just Jordy LaForge. Maybe. Okay, now um, I have said that I'm wrong. Buttons. Yeah, that's better. Also, because this came out of GBA, the... No! Oh, take me down, take me down! The... Going the... up? The control system was limited. Yeah. So It was what? The D-pad, two buttons, and two shoulder buttons? Yeah. Yep, and then, and then like, the start and select button, I think. Yeah. But are those buttons really... <laughs> So, as you saw, I need to reset the controls at the beginning of this, and there's much bitching on the forums about the con control setup. Oh god, we're in Sandopolis. We're in the desert of death. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but you had to. I mean, it's a Capcom game, there's ruined technology, maybe it is the desert of death. <laughs> Over there is uh, Karazhan, which will lead us to Orbital Station Myria. And um, we're about to fight um, uh, Mambo, who we are going to use the um, Behemoth on and have him bite our colossal dragon ass. <laughs> also, of course, birds survive the apocalypse. Mm. Rubble birds. Why, why robot birds? Why was this... N what the... God... Maybe they're part of the robot logging operation, too? <laughs> Tornado hold! And just a big game. Yes, this is uneasy, and I play a lot more carefully on normal. But sometimes you just can't afford to. Yep. Sometimes you have to tank a hit with your face. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. That is actually, like, one of my mom's favorite candy bars. My mom quotes that a lot. Oh, good, we got an Anubis. My name the is... The third. <laughs> my name is Anubis Necronus. Necronus. The third! I Return work. the slab or suffer my curse. King uh, Ramses, the man in gods, the man in God. So are all of these, are all of the Mavericks named after uh, random gods? Seems it.
Also, not gonna lie, it looks like he's kind of hip thrusting a little bit in the air. Oh yeah, pelvic thrust. You are way easier to deal with here than you are in Splunky. <laughs> Splunky. The way he fights um, reminds me of Anacharis from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. I can't remember if he was in Darkstalkers or if he was one of the original characters they added for that game. Also, of course there's mummy robots, because why not? I mean, we already had Pharaoh Man in uh, Mega Man 4. Hmm. I see Pharaoh Man played against his weenies, and good god, he made a jump. In, um... There was actually a Mega Man webcomic that I liked back in the day. I don't think it's online anymore, but, uh... Pharaoh Man wound up being one of the most popular characters because he was a gigantic nerd. Oh, you want get up? We go back to base. Rada, rada, rada. Green Biker Dude! Green Biker Dude, number 27. This up, that. Oh, good. An escort mission. Yeah. Why, though? Who who thought this... There are so many design decisions in this game that I'm just like, who thought this was a good idea? Get up, get up. And, like... Like, I fear, I feel that I'm not being fair because it's not a bad game, but there are so many things in it that it's just like... Who greenlit this? It's not a bad game, but it is a flawed game. Yeah. And had a sneaky suspicion of yes, we'll up to 40 minutes. I will be cutting this down to smaller smaller videos to upload. But it's uh Okay. Yeah, this is getting finished in about an hour. Oh Ooh, my god, we're being attacked by three and a snake! There we go. Wait, those were snakes? I thought they were like little people. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I thought the blue part was like long hair and they were like little tiny Meg people or something. <laughs> like, I thought we were fighting three Megs in a trench coat. <laughs> we won't start against against three Megs in a trench coat. Help me, I'm being attacked by three Megs in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, Meg is uh, Leviathan. Me Meg is secretly Duff McWhalen. The, the, the objectively best Maverick. Yes, <laughs> it is not Tidal Whale. The Guns N' Roses names will always be canon to me, damn it. <laughs> Indeed. Spike Rose Red? Nah, that name's stupid. Axel the Red. It sounds yes. like a Viking. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if this guy can actually die or not. I never found out. Don't intend to. I mean, I'm assuming he dies in late in other levels, but I'm assuming in the easy mode, no. Green biker chick, okay. Gotta be diverse. My god, we found the Girl Scouts. Who wants some Thin Mints? Do you have any of the, um, the peanut, the tagalongs? Is that what they're still called? Yeah, I think they're still called that. Unless they changed that too, I don't know. Th those were always my favorite, and it annoyed me because my family never got them. <laughs> Aww. We usually ended up getting them because they're my brother's favorite. It's it's a Reese's Cup, except it's a cookie. Yeah. They always ended up getting the, s the Thin Mints and the Samoas. Yeah, same. And, like, th Thin Mints are always my dad's favorite. I don't know why we got the Samoas. I mean, I'll eat them, sure. Um, 
I will say that um, the last time I got Girl Scout cookies, which was a long time, which was like a year ago, um, yeah. I I got some tag alongs. I got Thin Mints for my dad. I also got the S'more cookies. Ooh. Those were not as good as I was hoping they would be. Yeah, that's the, that's sad. Yeah. Actually, I think on Tumblr I did reblog something for like a Samoa cookie ice cream sandwiches. Ooh. That reminds me, for uh, my mom's birthday tomorrow, um, I'm making a mint dessert. Ooh. Assuming my dad doesn't eat all the Oreos between then and now, but push comes to shove, I can walk over to the grocery store, pick up a thing of Oreos, and use it. Ooh. You know, I was expecting to lose for A ranking by now. Now I'm just Time to say it's mint. Steven right there. <laughs> mm, mint. I'm a sucker for mint. Blah, mint. blah, blah. I'm a major so I discovered. We must be covered and blah, blah, blah. I didn't mean to go for this one because I hate this level of course. Platforming! For these guys. Can I borrow your jetpack? Oh, it's one of these. Okay, so it's... Oh god, it was one of those damn turtle tanks from X1. Yeah. No! Ah! Ow. Whoops. I know you're judging no. me. No. You're judging nah. me. You're judging the game. Yeah. That was my bad. I know he's there. Of course, New York City's back there. Well, like, this is... Like, I would be fine with this sort of level, honestly. Like... Mm. Like, this this feels more Mega Man x -y to me, but... Yeah. Including with the mysterious little top thingies that are like... I My job is just to move back and forth and poke your feet. Oh, now we're in Storm Eagle stage. Oh, yeah. This is the reason I hate awesome. this level. Platforming! Can we borrow your jetpack? Give me a jetpack. Uh, yeah, it's funny, like, playing X5.